My dad and I went shopping before Christmas, and I saw a doll baby dressed in a nurse's uniform, and I said, that's what I want to be when I grow up. My dad said, if that's what you want to be when you grow up, then you must have love and respect for others, and treat that person who is in that bed sick as if it were your mom, dad, or you in that bed then you want that person to treat you with love and respect. My granddaddy placed the vision in mom to have love and respect for others, but it was God who gave mom the desire to become a nurse, a nurse who loves, helps, and cares for others. I became a community leader because I wanted to reach out to be a blessing to others. I saw mom reach out to help the homeless, the sick, and those who were experiencing barriers to employment and health disparities. She worked with Dr. Carolyn Jenkins from MUSC to help the community with Saturday clinic screenings at the monthly neighborhood meeting. From there, God blessed us to organize community health fairs and National Night Out with the police department to offer free screenings. We felt it was important to help empower residents with knowledge to help equip them to make a better choice and better decisions about their health. They helped to open up clinics in the neighborhoods and communities that were facing health disparities. My call to action is to encourage other community leaders to find out about the opportunity available to them to help the resident in their community by setting up a health clinic in their neighborhood to check their vital signs and blood pressure. Whatever you do, do something to be a blessing to your community, whether through health initiatives, or health fairs, or free screening. Do something to help make a difference in your community, even if it is just giving out flies about seven healthy tips or information about opportunities available to you. It is important for people to know their numbers, especially for their blood pressure. I would have to say that what mom learned from granddaddy helped her to become a nurse and a community leader. My call for action is for other community leaders and neighborhoods to get involved in solving the health crisis. I am asking you to take it to the streets with a community health fair or a screening at a local barbershop to help men overcome their fear of screening. North Central is working together for the betterment of the community to enrich the lives of its residents by promoting initiatives that focuses on health and wellness, food and nutrition, health and fitness. Get with your neighbors to see what you can do to combat obesity and to promote health and wellness. <music>